Welcome to Theories of Child Development, Part 1. In this lesson, we will sort fact from fiction and learn why children do what they do. Child development theories seek to answer the age-old question of nature over nurture. Nature is the way you are born and nurture is the way you're cared for throughout your life. And we always wonder which one is more important in the end. So these eight theories, beginning with nature, are maturation, multiple intelligences, the psychodynamic theory, and cognitive theory. And the more nurturing theories are humanist, sociocultural, ecological, and behaviorist. The maturation theory from Arnold Gazelle and now the Gazelle Institute provides us with many opportunities to understand typical growth and developmental norms so that we've researched a large, large number of children and we know what is typical for their age and their stage of development. Rates of development vary, but children all progress through the same stages, such as children working through sitting up, crawling, and then walking. Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence theory asks a common question in a totally different way. Instead of asking, how smart are you? Howard Gardner believes we should ask, how are you smart? We all have strengths in different types of intelligences and our interests and abilities stem from these and make us good at certain things and not so great at other things. Eric Erickson's wonderful theory of psychosocial development explains eight social-emotional stages that all people go through throughout their entire li life. Each stage presents a crisis and the mastering of this crisis leads to wonderful coping mechanisms for the future. The picture on this slide is a wonderful example of a baby learning to trust that when she cries or needs something, a caregiver will respond to her immediately, teaching her to trust the world for the rest of her life. 